sponsored by Audible. Go to audible.com slash cow to get your free audiobook today. A few months ago, we did a video about things that guys need to stop doing to girls. You can check it out in the description below. And we got a lot of requests to do a follow-up video about things that girls should stop doing to guys. So here we go. Sending mixed signals. One day we're besties. <laughs> That's awesome, wow. Oh that my was really, gosh, you're hilarious. That was really, yeah. <laughs> we're best friends. Yeah. And the next you're barely speaking to me. What changed? Is it something I said? Look, you're entitled to whatever signals you feel like giving off, but I'm just saying, it's so darn confusing. Expecting us to make the first move. So, society has this expectation that if two people are attracted to each other, why don't you just man up and make the first move? Come on, make your old man proud! But you know what? The world isn't going to collapse in on itself if this happens from time to time. Hey, I like you. Can we go out sometime? Chaos! <laughs> Just kidding. Seriously, it's okay if you want to make the first move. Objectifying men. So a lot is made about how men objectify women. And it's true, by and large, men are the ones doing most of the objectifying. And we talked about this in our previous video. <laughs> But with that said, women can objectify men too, and it can be hurtful. Hey, who's that on your wallpaper? Only my favorite Hollywood celebrity. He is so hot. Check out his abs. Oh, wow, yeah, nice, real nice abs. He's so gorgeous. So can we all just agree to stop looking at each other like meat, please? Holding guys up to manly man standards. No one likes being held to an impossible standard. So don't assume that just because we're guys that that means that we know how to do all the things that a manly man can do. So yesterday my car broke down and I had to call a friend to come and get me because I didn't really know how to jump the car. Wait, how do you not know how to jump a car? I'm just not very good with cars, I guess. Wow. What, you don't know how to jump a car either? Yeah, but you're a guy. And the last one is similar to this one, generalizing us. Don't assume that all guys are the same. And I'm not talking about. Boy, it sure seems like women assume that all men are terrible people. I'm such a strong man that I am personally threatened by your generalization. I'm talking about something a little more basic. It's really honestly not even that big of a deal, but here, for example. What are you doing? Oh, I was just seeing if the Broncos won. You boys in your football. <laughs> What? One second I'm checking the score of a game, and the next I'm being lumped into this group. Is he with the Is he I don't believe it! Call the rap! Call the rap! Just because I'm a guy and I enjoy some of the same things that bros enjoy, I'm not a stereotype. I'm an individual who enjoys football a healthy amount. I just think that we should all be treated and respected like individuals rather than groups. And maybe that's the best way to end this thrilling two-parter. Just treat people equally, respectfully, and fairly. And everyone should actually probably learn how to jump a car because that's pretty embarrassing no matter what gender you are. So where were you going when your car broke down? I wasn't going anywhere. I was actually sitting in my driveway. Why were you just sitting in your driveway? Because I was listening to a free audiobook from audible.com slash cow. You know, they have over 150,000 titles to choose from. Wow. Yeah, and if you go to audible.com slash cow, you can get a free audiobook and a free one month trial membership. And then you can listen in your car as well. Do they have uh, the book thief by Marcus Zusak? Yes, they do. In fact, they do. So go to audible.com slash cow today.